cone snail. These snails are known as cigarette snails. Can you guess why? Well, it's known that if this thing stings you, you'll live enough to smoke your last cigarette and you'll die within minutes. On today's episode of Untamed Animals, we have cone snails, these amazing patterned shells that you'll be intrigued to collect. But that would be a deadly mistake. Looks can be deceiving. You see, snails are like squirrels. You can find them in your gardens, and at first glance, they look completely harmless. But when you start to know more about them, you find their true nature. Who would have thought these tiny things could be so fatal to humans? So it is right to say that looks can be deceiving, especially in the case of cone snails. I mean, just look at this thing. Aren't these the prettiest little things? I think we can all admit that we all have a nag for shell collection at least once in our lives, and getting something as cool as a cone snail shell would definitely up your game. But that's where you get wrong. Build. Know more about the deadly mollusk. Cone snail is a rather bigger sized species of snail, as they can grow as big as 24 centimeters. Their name comes from the shape of the shell, which comes in a variety of colors and patterns, making it a highly demanded piece in shell collections. It should not come as a surprise that this marine animal is a carnivore. I mean, it has to do something meaningful with that potent venom, right? They feast on small fish and worms that come in their proximity. But what should surprise you is the fact that cone snails are cannibals as well. This means that they do not mind eating other cone snails, which could be quite disturbing if you think about it. Habitat. Where do cone snails live? Now, for whatever reason, if you still want to see a cone snail, let me tell you about its habitat. Just like the blue-ringed octopus, cone snails are benthic animals, which means they live at the bottom of the ocean floor. Speaking of blue-ringed octopus, if you want to see another deadly aquatic animal that can kill 27 human beings at once, click on the link in the description. Coming back to the cone snail, these are predominantly found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and even on the coasts of Florida. The venomous snail should not be deemed as aggressive. They are happy in the sand beneath the ocean, but this is not a sign to touch them. The majority of cone snail stings happen when humans try to pick them up, or are walking unattentively in areas where the snail may be present. Cone Snail Arsenal Enough with the information about the cone snail. Let us talk about why you are here. We're now going to talk about the highlight of cone snail the bread and butter for the killer that helps him eat, survive, and maintain terror in all aquatic life. The biggest gun in cone snail's arsenal is its deadly harpoon. The cone snail has an adaptation that no other snail has, and it sets the species apart from others. Along with the proboscis, the snail has a terrifying adaptation to its tooth, which is called its harpoon. It is a modified radula tooth, which helps the snail in hunting and self-defense as well. When there is potential prey around, the snail takes out its long proboscis, which has the harpoon hidden until the snail is ready to attack. When the coast is clear, the snail launches the harpoon, which injects deadly venom inside the prey. Once hit with the harpoon, the prey has no chance to escape at all. It gets paralyzed almost instantly, and the cone snail can feast on it with ease. It expands its proboscis over the body of living prey and engulfs it as a whole. This is a terrifying scene to say the least, and the cone snail has no hard work during the whole process. The Venom Now, I think it's time we should talk about the issue at hand. It is claimed that a single cone snail sting can kill 700 human beings. Further, the fact that the snail is infamous as the cigarette snail I bet you're curious why this 25 centimeter thing has such potent venom. After all, there are at least 27 confirmed deaths from cone snail stinks, and the actual number is significantly higher considering the cases that never get reported. Once you get stung by this monstrosity, you would start feeling dizzy immediately. I mean, the venom can paralyze the fish within seconds, but thanks to our bigger bodies, it takes some time to fully spread. 
If you get stung during diving, it is an even worse situation to be in. It would become harder for you to swim to the surface, and like any other deadly venom, sudden movements and panic only make the situation worse. The venom would spread much faster in such a case, making the recovery harder and the demise quicker. Cone snail venom contains potent neurotoxins that affect the human nervous system. The symptoms begin with nausea, dizziness, and lightheadedness, and within minutes, it intensifies to numbness, lack of vision, and even paralysis. Making the victim unable to move, the venom then bothers the respiration of the victim. It can even send signals to the heart that reduce your heartbeat. The victim may have trouble breathing, which eventually leads to cardiovascular problems and ultimately results in death. I'm often amazed by how deadly these untamed animals are. Surely a cone snail sting is a terrible way to die. Imagine one wrong step and you would not be able to walk back to safety. Within 10 minutes of your beach playtime, you're greeted by medical professionals, and I think we can all agree that medical attention at beaches is not that great. With the severity of a large cone snail bite, you can definitely be sure of an untimely demise, which is a terrible way to go. Hunting. Do you remember when I told you that the cone snail is benthic? Well, this is where the behavior helps the snail. They often hide themselves in sand at the bottom of the ocean and use the arsenal harpoon and proboscis to hunt. The proboscis protrudes out of the sand in search of prey, and when something is full enough to come close, the harpoon strikes. It delivers venom inside the prey's body and pulls it inside the proboscis of the snail. Further, did you know that the harpoon is sharp enough to cut through various gloves as well? So if you thought you'd be safe if you wore gloves, think again. Anti-venom. There seems to be a trend where we can't find suitable anti-venoms for aquatic venomous animals. The same was the case with the blue-ringed octopus, and now with cone snail too. Here the venom is claimed to have over 50,000 peptides, which makes the cone snail venom to be too complex to make an anti-venom for it. Now, I don't know if I should be impressed with this fact or scared. I mean, imagine having a venom so complex that the cure for it is impossible to make but this cocktail of peptides seems to be useful for humans after all. Let me tell you about it in the next section. The benefits of venom? You see, cone snail venom has special properties. The conotoxins, or peptides in the venom, have the property to attack a specific type of receptor, with no effects on any other part of the body. This property is the reason why venom is so effective in the first place and the same property can help us to create medications for diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Also, scientists were able to retrieve ziconotide from the venom of magician cone snail, which is a painkiller 1,000 times stronger than morphine. So it won't be wrong to say that there is good in this bad as well. This is it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and to keep yourself in the loop with more untamed animals, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Click on the video on your screen to check out another deadly venomous animal, the Komodo dragon.